Hello, my name is Brian Endress with Verona Safety Supply, located in Madison, Wisconsin. Today I will be presenting to you the Clean Space 2 PAPR system from Clean Space Technologies. In this video, you will see what you will get with each purchase of a Clean Space PAPR 2, the setup of the Clean Space PAPR, as well as how to don it, how to use it, how to calibrate it, and also some limitations on currently what is available with Clean Space PAPRs. A Clean Space 2 PAPR kit includes the following items. You will receive a mask, which comes in small, medium, and large. You receive the blower system. You receive a head harness, a P100 HEPA filter, a thick and thin neck pad, a seal test cap, a float test cap, decontamination plugs, a charger, coveralls for the papper, as well as a backpack. For the assembly of the Clean Space 2 papper system, we will start by putting in the P100 filter. You will notice on the left side there is a tab here that you can pull up, which unlocks the back door. Take your P100 filter. You'll notice that there's a tag on the bottom that's overhanging. That is telling you what filter is in the PAPR system at that time, and this will also be able to be displayed once the door is closed. So simply put that in there, make sure that the tag is towards the bottom, close, lock shut. Now you'll be able to see back here which filter is in at which time. Now moving on to the mask. The mask is real simple, it has two snap ends. Simply put those into the black tubes. You'll hear a snap shut that it's securely fastened. Do the same with the other, snap close. Now we're on to the head harness. The head harness you'll know has two elastic ends and a Velcro end. The Velcro end will go on the back of the head facing away from you, right onto the Velcro at the back of the neck. Once that's fastened, you'll notice there's a series of holes on the elastic end. Um, that's for comfort and you'll wanna adjust this to whatever feels comfortable with you. These attach right to the buttons that are located on the mask itself. We'll do the same on the other end. All right, and now on to the thin or thick neck pad. In this instance, I'll take the thin one. Simply flip it upside down. You'll see that the Velcro that you put the head harness on goes with the neck pad. Simply lay it in there so the Velcro catches. Now the Clean Space 2 is ready to be worn. Before using this papper in the workplace, you're going to want to be sure to calibrate it. This ensures that there's enough error being provided to the end user. To do this, simply unplug the left part of the mask. The left side of this papper system is the side that provides the air to the person. Then you will want to take your flow test cap and plug it in just like you would the mask you'll hear that click again to make sure that it is in the correct position. At this point, you can hold the power button and the flow test button at the same time until a blue light and a red light come on together. All right, it'll look like that. Now in about five or 10 seconds, it's going to start blowing air and that's calibrating it itself. This should only last a few seconds. And that was it. Now you'll notice here where the battery lights um, that will also be t telling you how the calibration went. Three stars being the best, one star meaning it needs to be fixed. Two star is okay, but you're going to want to keep an eye on it. And that's all calibration takes. All right, once you have calibrated and you have your head harness adjusted to the proper fit, it's time to put on the PAPR system. Now to turn it on, by pressing it one time, puts the PAPR system into standby mode. You can don in standby mode and once you start to breathe the papper will eventually turn on. You can also press it a second time and that will just turn it on as well. To don it, disconnect the left end or the right end of the hose, whichever feels best for you. Slide it over the head making sure that the head harness is in the proper orientation. Sorry, we got a little bit of a mop going on here. And then you're just going to want to connect the tube to the mask. Now, once I start breathing, the papper is going to turn on. Hang 
And now as you can hear, the blower in the back is working. To take off the harness, simply unplug. This will cause the blower to kind of go erratic for a second, but it will realize that it has been unplugged and goes back into standby mode. System. Um, at this time, they only have the P100 HEPA filter available. In the next month or so, they should be coming out with an acid gas and organic vapor cartridge. There also is a limitation currently, there is the only half mask version, um, but also in that same month or so, we're hoping to see the full face respirator um, PAPR system come out as well. I appreciate everybody for listening today and feel free to contact Verona Safety with any questions. 608-273-3520. Thank you.